Good morning. Just turn it on my volume here. Good morning. My name is Dean Mazzarola, the mayor for the city of Leominster, and we are uh, live this morning with our um, local update. And I know there's um, a substantial amount of state and federal news that's out there, and we try to localize this for you. So we meet every day at um, 9 in the morning and then again uh, in the evening at 4. Um, I will put up our first slide if we can get to that. There we go. There's, uh, as of yesterday, there are 646 cases confirmed in the state of Massachusetts. And if you look down the Worcester County, there are 37. Um, this is as of 7 o'clock um, yesterday evening, late afternoon. And so we fully expect that um, the hospital is now set up um, for testing, um, outdoor uh, drive-up testing, as well as Reliant will be set up, I believe, either, um, and maybe it says in my notes as we go through it forward, but later this week, midweek, they'll be set up as well. So um, as testing becomes available, we expect to see um, those numbers go up, and it, that includes locally as well. Um, they were doing, and the testing is faster now, so instead of taking two or three or four or five days to get the results back, they're getting it back now in just a day or two at the most. Important phone numbers. These are the ones that are important. The mayor's office, 534-7500, extension zero. Emergency management, Meals on Wheels, Lumister Veterans Center. State hotline is 211, and for emergency purposes only, uh, 911. So I'll leave that slide up there for just a moment. And if you want to jot that down or if you have your phone nearby, take a picture of it. Those are the important numbers. Feel free to share those on social media, share them with your friends, um, print a copy out, write a copy out, stick it on the elevator where you live, whatever it might be um, helpful. Please feel free to share that. As I said, if you are heading up to the hospital, they will not receive you if, in fact, um, you do not have you weren't referred by a doctor and you didn't call their phone number, which I will get for you in a minute, but um, that is mandatory now that you have a doctor referral and, and that you, you've been sent to the hospital and then also that you uh, have to call this phone number and I'll get it for you in just a minute. School department, more than 3,000 meals were given out uh, on Friday for the weekend is the hotline. 978-534-7700, extension 1341. Um, seven to nine o'clock weekdays, Johnny Appleseed School, Francis Drake School, Lemister High School, and Fallbrook. Uh, this is paid for under the free and reduced lunch. It's a federal program. Uh, therefore, it is uh, fully funded by the federal government. And so um, if you do not, if you cannot get to one of these locations, uh, we do have some meals at City Hall if that's easier for you to get to, then by all means, call our phone number at 978-534-7500, extension zero. Here's the testing sites. Health Alliance, you must have a doctor's note. You must call this phone number. Take a picture of this if you can. 978-466-2627 first. Call that number. And that is going to allow you... Um, that's going to allow you a spot. So whether they give you a specific time or just know that you're coming and I'm in a red car or whatever it might be for identifying purposes, that, that will help uh, move things along uh, quicker. Um, it's located under the parking deck. So if you go in the front entrance of Health Alliance, you'll see signs. It'll direct you. That's 10 to 2 o'clock Monday to Friday. Please do not just show up. They will turn you away. Call your doctor first, and uh, or a healthcare clinic, whatever it is, you're going to need a doctor's referral. Then on Reliant, on the right-hand column at Reliant, testing starts on Wednesday, March 25th, and again, contact Reliant directly for an appointment, uh, or they will end up turning you away. As the governor said, we're close to 4,000 a day uh, getting tested, which means that those in public safety, in the medical field, healthcare providers will begin to get tested. We expect these the numbers uh, not only in the state to go up, but in Worcester County and also in our own city, and that is because of better testing.
for employee business assistance. You can call Melissa Tasker at 978-534-7500-3579. She will help you in any way possible. Uh, some businesses now are a week and a half now they've been closed. And um, some businesses just got started, just opened their business not long ago. Uh, if you remember back on the retail end, uh, Christmas wasn't great for retailers. We had one shorter week than we typically do between Thanksgiving and, and the holidays. Um, it was a, a, a okay winter um, retail-wise, but a lot of businesses have had to close their doors temporarily and um, are beginning to ask questions about is there any assistance or loans. And you can go to the Chamber of Commerce uh, website at northcentralmass.com, or you can call them, and there's their phone number right there, 978-353-7600. Or if you want to file an unemployment claim, uh, they were saying on the, this morning um, there's like 80,000 people who work in the, the uh, health, uh, I'm sorry, in the hospitality world uh, in and around the metropolitan area. So we expect the, those numbers to really climb. So there's the number right there. Again, any of these you want to take a picture of, uh, you can check back on LTV and, uh, or you can check with my, uh, on my Facebook page because these are all, um, these are, will all be on my Facebook page permanently. So there's your, uh, to file a um, claim at 978, I'm sorry, mass, you're better off because I don't think you're going to get through on the phone um, to, to file an unemployment claim, www.mass.gov, D-U-A. On the federal level, uh, working with the national companies on production of a PPE and respirators, I do want to pause just for a second because there were a number of local businesses, and I hesitate just yet to sort of list all of those who are on it and if I have time towards the end, but at some point we will acknowledge all of those who went out of their way to uh, businesses when we put the word out, um, who let us know that they could help us out in terms of su uh, supplies. And so we had some really large and wonderful donations that are made both to the hospital and to the emergency management system. Um, that, w that way we could supply um, the much needed safety equipment and the PPEs and respirators to those in the healthcare industry and in law, law enforcement. Uh, they're gonna be bringing two medical ships to New York and California. The stimulus, stimulus package to help individuals and businesses, they're implementing the 15 days to slow the spread plan, identifying and, ch and changing regulations that stand in the way of supplies and progress. This week at the state level, again, orders are in for PPE and they're coming in daily, that's gloves. I think I need to change my, okay, there we go. Um, gloves, gowns, masks, etc. Working with the Army Corps of Engineers on possible locations for overflow locations for hospitals if needed. Again, Health Alliance has uh, been at least two or three weeks now. And the ironic thing is that we've actually had a plan in place for a pandemic here in the city, right down to um, the detail of if they find a, um, a vaccine, we actually have a location set up where we would pull together and begin to administer the vaccine. That's how detailed it is. We pulled it out. It's something that's updated all of the time. We work at Health Alliance to update that, and uh, it's in full implementation as we speak. We're trying to coordinate child care centers for emergency personnel and those in the healthcare industry. Um, any daycare provider, if you would call our office, if you are interested in helping to uh, provide daycare for those in the emergency management world and the healthcare world, you can call our office at 978-534-7500, extension zero. Finalizing details, the state is on the $20 million package for small business. Funds will be distributed through mass development. They're continuing to expand the telehealth where they can just call right into your home and uh, have a physician or somebody in the medical world uh, speak to uh, those in the elderly community. And those are the ones, uh, the people that are, the elderly are really what's at highest risk right now. And they should be the ones who, be, who should be self-quarantined at this point or anybody else with a uh, illness or, or disability. And then the state is going to continue to address regulations that stand in the way of progress. This week, um, on the local level, uh, you, should, uh, you should see the announcement of the United Way's plan to raise money and disperse funds for workers in the area. 
details to come and how you can give and how you can receive. City buildings will remain closed to the public, but staff is ready to assist. Uh, we have a full complement of city employees. We realize that many uh, services in the community are essential and you need us and we are there to help you. Uh, we have daily conferences, uh, uh, phone um, conferences with Health Alliance and UMass, weekly conferences with Ma Mass Mayor's Association, the Department of Public Health and MEMA. We monitor the state uh, governor's press conference as well as the um, president's. We have a weekly conference call with the United Way and calls with other organizations as they are scheduled. And emergency management, police and fire are all in touch with mass emergency management every, uh, every day. And uh, the director, Jim LeBlanc at mass, uh, Lumister Emergency Management updates me every day. Um, well, first thing in the morning and then all day as things change. My name is Dean Maserol, the mayor for the city of Lemonster. Happy to be with you this morning. It is National Puppy Day. Uh, th try to think of some things that are positive. Uh, this weekend, a number of people and families were out and walking, keeping their distance, washing their hands, uh, putting sanitizer on, and um, enjoying the fresh air. But I know this has been three or four weeks now of reminding everybody to stop the spread of germs, wash your hands, avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth. Of course, when you say that to me, the first thing I want to do is touch my nose or mouth. Clean things frequently. Cover your mouth when you cough or sneeze. Stay home if you're sick and think ahead about caring for you and your family. Most importantly, and to oversimplify it, assume you have it, the virus. Assume everybody you come in contact with has the virus and assume everything you touch, every single thing you touch uh, is compromised by the virus and treat everything accordingly and you will be just fine. Our partnerships, as I move to the next slide, there we go. U.S. Conference of Mayors, Mass Mayors Association, Governor's Office, FEMA, MEMA, Bloomberg Foundation, Mass Department of Public Health, United Way, Spanish American Center, UMass Health Alliance, North Central Chamber, Mass Hire, and all city departments. Thank you to our friends in the private sector. Thanks for donating. Dr. Todd Rowe, and so the, the dentists all got together because they were closing their facilities, but even before that, got together to start um, to, start to, to um, gather some of the materials that they could donate. Um, we had a massive amount of um, materials donated by them. This was start, uh, started by Dr. Todd Rowe and uh, also Dr. Brian McDowell, so we sent a truck over the other day to Dr. Rowe's office, and here are all the uh, dentist who donated, and we want to thank each and one of them. We also want to thank Central Mass Oral Surgery, Adams Tool, United Solutions, and O'Connor Companies. They all made donations either directly to the hospital based on our phone calls to them or uh, to our emergency management. We were able to gown and protect with PPEs. Uh, we were able to protect um, our own uh, our own public safety officials uh, as recently as this weekend. And so um, just as an inst uh, for instance, O'Connor Company came in with like 2,500 gowns. So uh, you can see that everybody's helping out. There are two um, companies in Leominster that we received information from the federal government that they are part of the mandatory stay open and continue to produce for the military and the federal government. So they are, um, receive special status, um, and that's two companies in the city of Lumberton that we know of so far um, that we receive information that they're receiving special status, and they have to remain open, fully open, uh, whether it's, it's uh, seven days a week, um, right through to the end of this. So it is a special, you must have heard the president speaking to it, it's a special um, status. Here's information on the Lumberton Public Library. While they're closed, we are here to help you out any way possible. They also have free Wi-Fi at the Pearl Street entrance of the library, fully staffed at the Lumberton Public Library. You can go to their website and find out just about everything you could ever imagine and didn't know about. Um, and again, if, you, if you're having a hard time like navigating, it's the first time you get on the internet to try to download a book or download some videos, by all means call the uh, public library and they'll walk you through it. Here we go on some shopping. Um, we're starting fresh now with um, there we go. Senior shopping hours, market basket, 60 and older from 5.30 to 7 on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Shaw's is going to do Tuesdays and Thursdays, 7 to 9 a.m. Target, the first hour of shopping every Wednesday. 
uh, is at 9 o'clock for seniors Walmart, March 24th through April 28th, every Tuesday for one hour before the store opens. And each of the Walmarts open different, uh, different hours, so I would check with them. And uh, Hannaford is 6 to 7 o'clock Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And thank you to Hannaford for donating $250,000 to local um, food pantries. Takeout, many, many, many. The list is growing. It's grown so much now that I'm not going to. I'm not going to stop this second to uh, read you the entire list. But the best thing to do is to go to a Facebook page called Community Development. It's called Lemons the Community Development. It's on Facebook, and you will see a whole list and websites for hours and menus. Um, I think what they meant to say is. It, you, can, you can check our site at Lemister Community Development. They'll give you an entire list of all the sites and then uh, visit their website or call to find out specific hours and menus. Some, some may have a, um, a limited menu. And now, if you look at the slide, here is 26 miles of biking trails. Yesterday, um, you had a hard time finding a, a parking spot in any one of our trails. 26 miles of trails. And here's a list, again, if you want to take a picture or check my Facebook page later because this will be on there permanently. Um, with all the different parks that are available in the city, and yesterday we saw small groups, mostly families, keeping their distance, uh, practicing proper hygiene, and um, you know we've had some good days. And um, we, unfortunately, we're gonna, or fortunately, I guess, depending, um, maybe it'll help clean the the air. But we have a snowstorm pending for uh, late two o'clock in the morning on Tuesday into Tuesday, we could get as much as five or six inches. So uh, the DPW and all crews are, are standing by and getting ready. And what I will say about that is um, the ground is very soft. It is thawed. So they aren't going to plow right up to the curb. If you have a front lawn that makes its way out to the street and there's no curbing or berm there, then more than likely they're going to stay six inches to a foot away from the curb. That is so we don't tear up lawns, sprinkler systems, et cetera. So if we're not getting right up to your mailbox, we apologize, but it, we could do a lot of damage in a uh, storm that comes in mid to late March. So we will stay away from the curb, and that is why. We'll go to the next slide, which is basically our volunteer list. If you'd like to volunteer, if you need help, these, this is the phone number to call, 978-534-7500, extension 5055. Now, later today, um, watch for an announcement. Uh, we are teaming up with Ginny's, and we will be bringing food, eggs. They have a whole ton of things, um, and we're going to be setting up at City Hall, so if anybody needs food, if you've been to the grocery store, had a difficult time getting eggs, uh, you're a family that's struggling, you know somebody that's struggling. You can bring some food to somebody that's struggling or an elderly person. Um, we'll go to our Facebook page, go to our website later today, and we'll have all that information. Or you can always call 978-534-7500, extension 5055. Uh, the two businesses that will remain open, somebody's asking the question, and that is International Rectifier as well as Foster Tech. They are both... Uh, under mandatory status from the federal government uh, and the President of the United States to continue operation uh, nonstop. And city government continues. Um, here's some of our projects that we're working on. We're pers pursuing the green communities for Central Street Fire Station for the HVACs and heating system. We're still planning on uh, upcoming events, working on that as we speak. Test borings were done at Lumister High School athletic fields and would continu continue to uh, complete the design and permits. Carter Junior High has its first tenants, and Lummis the Fire Department applied for a grant for brush truck and wellness program um, a couple of weeks ago. If you're inside the house, this is a perfect time to fill out that census. Now, if you didn't get a census, you will. And if you do not have the ability to fill out your census electronically, do not panic. They know that. If they do not get your census return, they're going to send you out the old-fashioned census form. If, and I would suggest you turn that in as quick as possible, and then um, they will leave you alone. If not, that's when the process of trying to identify as many people as they possibly can. So there are a number of people immediately will fill it out, send it in. If not, um, they will continue to uh, seek you out 
so to speak, and um, we can eliminate that. So once you get it, fill it out so it doesn't end up at the boss, bottom of the pile with all your junk mail. Fill it out, send it out, and be done with it. We want to thank all of our first responders and those that, who are working really hard here in the city of Lemonster. I want to thank those in the medical profession, those people in the healthcare business, no matter what it is, nursing homes, assisted living, wherever they might be, caretakers that are taking care of others, uh, those with uh, children that have special needs and disabilities, uh, we're working as hard as we possibly can, waiting for some direction and working with the D State Department of Public Education. School Department is working very hard, get meals out every day, trying to keep our connection with uh, students. I think uh, as this week approaches, we really need to um, either uh, we really need to find out what the plan is going to be if this is going to go beyond another two weeks. Uh, we've been out of school for a week. This could continue on for another two weeks, but if it's going to be longer than that, we really need to rethink uh, how we're going to address student learning, especially those with disabilities and special needs. So we want to thank everybody, the people that have been really nice and helpful. People have been so generous and so helpful. Our phones ring off the hook, text, Facebook messages all night long of people that want to make things, help other people out. It's really been a, um, a, a time of, of appreciation for all of those who understand uh, life isn't perfect for so many others, uh, whether it's donation of food, uh, offers to check on people, bring food to people, whatever is necessary. And remember, loneliness. For some people, loneliness is a, an everyday thing, and especially in a situation like this, um, it gets work worse. Um, if you have somebody, a loved one, a neighbor, you want to get them checked on, we have a program at the police department called Are You OK? And uh, you just call in, or you can go to the website, log yourself in, and give them the information, and every day uh, they will call to make sure that that person is OK. Uh, yes, snow starts at 2 or 3 p.m. Oh, I thought it was, they said this morning it was going to start at 2 in the morning on... Tuesday, but that's okay. Whatever time it starts snowing, we will know. Uh, most people are hunkered down anyway. So that's as much as I, uh, information as I can bring you at this particular point. Um, I do have to run into a meeting uh, into Boston today, and it is critical that I attend, and then I will be back uh, in the city, but I will be available uh, all day long, and if something comes up, we'll certainly uh, let you know. And uh, we want to, again, thank everybody for their help, everybody here at Lemonster.tv and uh, those at WLPZ that volunteer their time. That is our local low-powered radio station, and they do updates all day long. So uh, we want to thank them for keeping everybody up to date seven days a week, all day long, and this is being broadcasted, streaming through WLPZ.org. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you back here at 4 this afternoon. Um, do all those things. I know everyone keeps repeating it over and over and over, uh, but it's just a reminder. And I think everyone's heard it so many times. We're getting sick of uh, being told that, but it's just a constant reminder. Assume you have the disease, the virus. Assume everybody you come in contact with does, and everything you touch is somehow or another compromised. If you follow those rules and you follow that way of thinking, you'll be just fine. Uh, on a positive note, uh, those around the state and the country who first uh, contracted the virus, uh, many uh, have gotten through it. They're on, the, they're, they're on their way to recovery, almost through the incubation process. And, uh, you know, that helps to free up uh, hospitals. And that's really what we're worried about, is working with Health Alliance to make sure that not only we have enough beds in the event that this really spreads, uh, but being in place to have other locations set up in the meantime. Now, I know a lot of people have asked, well, I have a business, and I can't open, and now they close the daycare centers, and now I have nobody to watch my kids while I'm at work, and I'm, you know, I have a pretty critical need to be at work, and uh, I'm an unemployed. There are a whole host of questions that people ask all day uh, to us, and we understand that. We're trying to make um, provisions for all of those things as fast as we can, trying to bring you information on all those categories uh, as fast as we can, uh, so stay tuned because we can take what we learned from the federal and state government and localize it for you. In the meantime, thank you for watching. Take care of yourself. Be safe out there. And check on your neighbor, somebody elderly, somebody with special needs or a disability. They will appreciate it. So will we. Thank you.